much farther can I go? Well met. Speak. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Breathe deep and move. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Fine. What's on your mind? Find a healer. And the sooner, the better. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I don't think I need to repeat where we stand on that front. I told you already. It's none of your concern. My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked, after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm... The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. An admirable display of manners, but I'm afraid I must decline. Yes, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere.
Tut, tut. No need for that crude cutlery of yours. As you can see, I'm amply provisioned. This is the House of Hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you, while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Anticipation. She is testing you somehow about Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly, the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, 
us. I respect his craft, as should you. Watch out for that devil. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. Gazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Do you feel as flattered as I do? A Cambion came courting us. Cambion's a half-human. Either Daddy had a tryst with a succubus or Mummy with an incubus. What they lack in kind-heartedness, they make up for with horns and tails. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the Devil Deal's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Raphael is a Cambion, and what is part human is entirely fallible. By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. What if the tadpole is what he really wants instead of the customary price that is our souls? If I'm right, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Swift as my feet can carry me. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? That's because you still have hope, but when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. 
You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above Hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. I will sit astride one. It is only a matter of time. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the silver sword, and I will conquer every layer of hell should my queen command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells? This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many plains. Fate spins along as it should. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. Oh. Then what do you want? I'm ready. I've got a long road ahead. At the ready. Let's get on with it.
gun when he was screaming. Could wake him up by chopping off a toe. That'd be funny. Yeah, give him something to cry about. Don't wear his voice out. We'll still need answers. to be full of magic. <clears throat> That's why I've been stabbing all the rats. Might be spies. path lies before me. That's curious. Necklace matches the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. Are watching me. Let's have a look. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. 
something clinks among the coins. A cluster of spiders scuttle inside the crevice. The infuriated spiders cross your hand and scale your arm. The swarm is coming. Find a way forward. Lovely day this, for now. At the ready. <clears throat> Nemesis. Assume nothing. My faith will guide me. Did art show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. Kill him!
Protectors. Invictus! I applaud your taste. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Thank you, thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. No. I'd still be outside gathering herbs if I didn't run into the goblins. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again.
Another step forward. Ready for anything. Should mind my step. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. A dead boar, but it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. The carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. West Baldur's Gate, East El Terrell. 